Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg and today I'd like to go over some of my favorite apps for the iPad. Most of my favorite apps are on the home screen. And of course, I've left in place all of the apps that come with your iPad. So we have the calendar, contacts, notes, maps, videos, YouTube, iTunes, App Store, and settings. Now my favorite app on this entire device is Net Newswire. That's right here, so let's open that. Net Newswire is basically a RSS reader client. And the powerful and the powerful thing about Net Newswire is that it syncs with Google Reader. Now Google Reader aggregates or stores all of your RSS feed subscriptions. So basically that allows you to subscribe to new feeds and to, and have that take effect on whatever client you're using no matter where you are. Now, uh, Net Newswire is basically an Apple-only pl uh, product, so it's available on the Mac, on the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. So let's take a look at the app itself. I have it in landscape view, and on the left side are my feeds. So I have them broken down into certain categories, automotive, blog, Star Trek, technology. Under each category are the feeds I subscribe to. Now, when I click on one of these, I see the articles appear. And I should get a thumbnail for each article, which I'm not seeing at the moment. But if I go to the first article, it will load in the right. And it's just a preview. If I want to load the page, I just tap the article. And the entire page loads right in the right-hand side of the page. So I'm not in Safari. I'm in the app, navigating all my uh, RSS feeds, opening the pages live. This is very similar to using the app on your desktop. It's very different from using your, the app on the iPhone because the iPhone has such a small screen, it opens it up in Safari. So as you can see that uh, when I selected it, this blue dot that was next to the article has disappeared. That's basically telling me that I've read that, I've seen that article, I've read it. And because that's all synced, I will see that no matter what client I log on to, whether it's my Mac, my iPhone, or my iPad. Of course, I don't want to read every single article. I, I take a look to see what one interests me the most. Take a look at them, and I see the rest I'm not that interested in. So let's go ahead and go to this little check mark and say mark all as read. So now that uh, feed is clear, and I can move on to my next. So let's go to Mac Rumors and see what's new. Details of lost next generation iPhone saga revealed in search warrant and affidavit. Oh, that sounds like an interesting article. So I see the article loading, and it's just like loading the page in Safari. If I double tap, it zooms up and fills up the whole screen, and I can read the article. Now this looks so interesting that I think my followers on Twitter will like it. So I can tap this icon up here, which will allow me to email it, post it to Twitter, send it to Instant Paper so I can read it offline, or open in a browser. Open in browser will simply launch Safari and close this app. Now let's go ahead and post it to Twitter. So I see this box up here, which has the text of the article header, and it has shortened the URL using tiny URL. And of course, my information to Twitter has already been logged in, and all I have to do is post. Now I can edit this if I want, but I'm just going to leave it like that and post. So you guys following me on Twitter will get this right now. So you can also email this. It comes up with a dialog to enter your information, taps into your address book. So if I just want to email it to myself, there I am. Send. So for me, this is a powerful app because I consume so much information through my feed. And the only way to have done this in the past was just to sit in front of my iMac or my MacBook and just read them hours at a time sitting in a chair in a fixed position. But now I can take this to a living room or I can lay it down in my bed at night before I go to bed and just catch up on my news and read it. So not only is it much more comfortable, I'm more likely to consume more of it than I would before because instead I would be limited to an hour or so of sitting in front of a computer and just reading. So that is Net Newswire. My next favorite app is TweetDeck and TweetDeck is a client for Twitter. And one of the great things about TweetDeck is that it has this column management system uh, in which you create a subscription with TweetDeck and no matter what client you sign on to on whatever platform you use, Mac, Windows, uh, iPhone, iPod, or iPad, all of the columns will be synced. So if, if I add a search column for everything that is, uh, let's say, Detroit Borg or at Detroit Borg, I'll see everything aggregate in that column. And if I add that column here, it will uh, transfer to 
uh, the clients on my other computers as well. There are a lot of features with TweetDeck. I'll just try and go over some of them. One of my favorite things is the ability to search a column. So if I want to search uh, specific users, so Molly Wood. So there are all my Molly Wood posts for uh, recent history. I can hide the keyboard. So not very many. Um, or if I want to do, let's see, anything with iPad. There's everything with iPad. Now, if you tap on the message, you get several options. You can reply, retweet, send direct message, email, tweet, favorite, or then I have, uh, because there's a link in the article, it, it gives me uh, the link. So if I click that, it should launch the browser. And there you go. There's the article. I have this little icon to go back. I want to post a message right from the iPad. I can just click this yellow message icon at the top and type one in. I can also use a photo, uh, post my location. Because the iPad has a GPS, I could potentially post my exact location. I can add a link. I can also add a contact from my Twitter account. So if I want to contact a few of these, like John for Lakers or Chris Perillo, let's do all the big guys. And let's type a message. Hello. All right, I'm not going to send that, but there you go. Uh, that just gives you a demonstration of how to use this. If you rotate, rotate this into portrait mode, uh, you get some different functionality. So, for example, if you tap on the feed, you get this little preview up here, which is quite useful. And you can scroll over to your other columns because you're a little squashed now. And you have some other controls. It's a little different. You can email. You can favorite it, direct message it, retweet, or reply. And let's see, if we get a post with a link in it, like the one I just posted, just tap the link and it opens right in the app. There you go, that's a quick look at TweetDeck. Another one of my favorite apps is IM Plus, which is basically a instant messaging client. It supports all sorts of instant messaging protocols like AOL, uh, MSN, ICQ, Jabber, Facebook, and all sorts of different ones. In fact, let's see if we can take a look at them. So in this case, I see my ICQ client, Skype, my Jabber client, Facebook. Uh, this is uh, Google and Twitter. Let's see if we can add more. So if we go to add, we can see some of the clients we have access to. MySpace, uh, Yahoo, MSN, AOL. So you get a pretty good sampling that should cover just about all the major ones. I can see all my contacts is aggregated in here. Uh, so if I get any messages through Facebook, or through uh, Jabber or whatever client I'm using, they'll appear in my inbox. So I can see some of them here. Uh, in fact, Twitter basically has an inbox for my at replies. See, these are all my at replies. And of course, it lets me know that there have been seven at replies since I last logged into this. And like I said, this is also a Twitter client, which is obviously the most active. So if I go to my friend's timeline, I see my whole timeline. So I can see all my at replies, my direct messages, my favorites friends timeline, etc. Now for me, this is most powerful because it has a very good push notification system. And because I've subscribed to uh, basically Google instant messaging, anything that I receive through Google, such as posts on my YouTube channel or email will automatically pop up as a push message on my iPad. This also works on my iPhone and my iPod. So if you post on YouTube, I'm most likely gonna see it right away. I may not read or respond to it until I can sit down and type it up, but I will see it almost instantly. So once again, that's IM Plus for uh, the iPad. This is Detroit Borg with part one of What's on My iPad. Thanks for watching.